Jajan. Bye, guys. This is really delicious. This is very nice. Yorobun and Yaseo, Jaleo. Onurun Momokji. Onurun Chungu Kimbap Mandurkoyo. When I'm young, last time that my family had Kimbap, we had it in a picnic and I made three different kinds. So today I wanted to make them something new, a new type of Kimbap. So that's why I'm gonna make Chungu Kimbap today. Chungu Kimbap, let's go! So first I'm going to prepare the Ojinga and Amu. I was at the Korean Mart. I thought I bought two Ojinga, but it looks like I only bought one. But I'll just swap sheep. I'm gonna use this anyway. Let's cut this first. Now I've gotten more used to cutting this. It's still slippery. Tari. Tame omu. Maki chon saizuro. Now I'm going to slightly boil the omu and the squid. So you just have to boil this a little bit, not for too long. Time to take out the omuk. Ojinga. Getting pink. Mm, ojinga nense. Time to scoop it out. Ooh. So the ojinga and the omuk are done cooking. So now I have some more maleni. I let this soak for about four hours. So it's ready to use now. So I'm gonna have first one handful, squeeze out the water, one. This is my first time preparing mu malengi. I like mu malengi though, so. Yeah. Oops. So now we're gonna prepare the sauce. First I'm gonna add these. Omuk. Oh, some pa. Sugar, two tablespoons. Two. Murya, four tablespoons. Kan maner, two tablespoons. One and a half jinkanjang, one. And ten tablespoons of ekjot, two. Mixing. So six tablespoons of gochukaru, five. Two more dak, two more dak. Oh, fuck head and lago. Oh, sekari now. Ooh, smells good. <laughs> Let's try some. Mmm, right though. Do you like cold up? Not as red as I thought it would be. Also, not super spicy. So, I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of gochukaru. So, I'm gonna start by seasoning the pot. Put some chamkirim and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna cut the keem. Time to make the kimbap. Done. I'll try to make the next one thicker. This one's a little lopsided. Ta-da! Ajima. Tajan tata. Jarke. Kiawa. Dudu. Dudu. Now let's plate. I'm gonna stack these. One, two, three. Yeah, Sarjak soup. Majimagro. Kiki kiki. Tajan. Let's eat. Hey. Chumu kimba. How does it look? Delicious. It looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks very good. Yes. Yeah, different. Yes. Yeah. So this is actually not a typical kimba. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is a special type of kimba, mm -hmm. which I'll explain why later. But first, let's try. Okay. So before you do, you can watch me. You pick amu. Okay. Pick up ojima. Uh huh. And then pick up this mumaleni, this radish here. Ah. Uh -huh. And then you stab one of these. Oh, 
and then you have to eat it in one bite. In what? one bite? No, you can bite it. It's okay. I don't, I don't think anyone can eat that in one bite. Yeah. <laughs> too big. Okay. All right. Fish cake? Yeah. Okay. And then there's squid. And then you said radish. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Ready? Yes. Yep. It's, um... That's pretty good. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say off the bat though, that was hard to eat. Mm -hmm. Only because it's hard to pick at everything, right? And then get that as well. Um, but it is tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I really like the flavor. Mm -hmm. You can just grab the kimbap, take a bite, and then just like I'm Take do this that. and eat it yeah. like that. You don't have to use this. That seems way better. Yeah. Oh, I know. This is hard to bite, though. That's way better. Yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. You're good? Okay. Oh, yeah. This is really delicious. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. Is it very hard to prepare? Um, not really. This is a special type of kimbap, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it came from Chungu area, which is now called, uh, I think, Tongyang. And then in this area, there's a lot of fishermen. So how this originated, since it came from that area, is the wives of the fishermen would make kimbap. And then you know normally that has the filling inside. Mm -hmm. So they would give it to the fishermen to have as food, mm -hmm. but it would go bad, right? Mm -hmm. So what they started to do was just make the rice with the seaweed and then have just like the side stuff on the side, like the side dishes. Mm -hmm. And that didn't go bad obviously quickly. Mm -hmm. And that's how it came to be. That's smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you remember. Do you remember the kimbap we had? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what was the ones we had again? It was oh. tuna. Tuna, yeah. Crab? There was crab in there, like the original one and cheese one. Cheese mm -hmm. one. How do you find this compared to what you had before? I like this. I like how the spicy part goes well with the just the rice and the seaweed. Right. Like it, it offsets each other. So as soon as you get the spice, then you get the coolness from the rice. Mm -hmm. This radish, mm -hmm. it's called mu mm -hmm. So it's actually radish that was dried. And then I basically, I guess, rehydrated it by soaking it in water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a type of kimchi, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you make a kimchi out of it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what do you guys think of this? I'm gonna make it up. This is good. Yeah. Why don't you guys try the mu Sure. Okay. Go. Mm. Very crunchy. It's mm -hmm. good crunch. I like that. Yeah. yeah. In the original kimbap video that we had for the uh -huh. picnic one, it actually got a million views. Oh, really? wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. About oh. over a million, actually. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So how do you feel this compared with the kimbap you had in the park? I think I like the kimbap better from the park. Oh, yeah. And the reason why is it has more different things going on. Okay. This is still really good. Yeah. The kimbap in the park is convenient for a yeah. picnic. Yeah. It has everything all rolled up and you can eat it very easily. Yeah. This is more like a special dinner right. in a sense. Yeah. It's nice though. It's like almost like snacking. Yeah, you're right. This is something for indoors. The other one's great for outdoors. Yeah. So it worked out very well. I think so. And also I think the kimbap I made before, yeah, none of it was spicy versions mm -hmm. of anything. So mm -hmm. this is kind of new, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, this type of kimbap is actually more expensive than like the regular type of kimbap. So the ones you have at the picnic might be like Canadian around $5, uh -huh. but this one's more expensive. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure why it's more expensive. I thought maybe because of the squid. Like That's that. I'm it might be full? Yes, I'm very full. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, you know, it, it is because you got all the rice. Yeah, but there's mm -hmm. quite a bit of rice. I had it like almost this entire plate. <laughs> But it's oh, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. lot, yeah. It's yeah. not too spicy for you guys? No, 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 no. It looks fine. So how was it? It was very it was, good. I loved it. Yeah. yeah good. That was good. I was just going to say, when I was eating it together, it was good. When I was eating it a little separate, when I was biting kimbap and then I was eating that separate, now it got the spice in my mouth. Oh, now so, it's spicy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's better together. Yeah. It's easy to eat. It's terrific. Yeah. I can see myself packing this for like lunch too, oh, good. which you could do with kimbap, and this is a type of kimbap, but like a little side of this, a little bit of the of the yeah. kimbap, yeah. Kimbap. Kimbap.